Welcome back to part nine. Let's continue our journey together through this crochet along of Seeking Balance. To prepare for round 72, the first round for this part, we want to use some stitch markers. So we'll find any of the chain two corner spaces and we'll skip the first 18 stitches. We want to put a stitch marker through the next two stitches. So to do that, I just put the marker in under those top loops of the first stitch, around the back, and out to the front again of the next stitch. And then we'll skip 17 stitches, place a marker through the next two stitches. We'll repeat that down the side. There should be eight markers. Then after the last marker, there'll be 17 stitches remaining before the next chain two corner space. So you can go ahead and add those markers around all four sides. If you don't have enough markers for that, you can do one side at a time and move those markers as you work this next side. So round 70, 72 using color F, we'll start in a chain two corner space with a double crochet. chain eight. Now these chains you want to make loose enough. We're going to be working in the back bump of the chain. So we'll skip three stitches counted from the loop on our hook. One, two, three. In that next back bump, we'll place a slip stitch. And we'll do that five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five slip stitches made in the back bump or that third loop of each of the chains. And then working back into the same chain two corner space, we will place a double crochet, chain two, and one more double crochet. So these chains and slip stitches are going to be called spokes. We'll be working several of these this round. So we'll work another spoke, we'll chain eight, Remember to keep them a little bit loose so that we can work in those back bumps. Same thing, we will skip three stitches. And then starting in the next, we will work a slip stitch in the next five. So one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes that last one gets a little bit twisted when we get close to the stitch. Then one more double crochet in that same chain two corner space. So we're going to skip this first stitch of the side, which is mostly covered up by the stitches of the corner. Starting in the next stitch, we'll double crochet in these next three stitches. So skip the first stitch, double crochet in three. One, <clears throat> two, and three, double crochet. Half double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Single crochet in the next two. Chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. 
half double crochet in the next three and double crochet in each of the next three. Which should take us to that last stitch before our marker. So we're going to put a double crochet in that first stitch where they're marked. We'll be making a spoke. So chain eight. Skip the three stitches, slip stitch in the back bump of each of the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll double crochet in that second marked stitch and remove the marker. Double crochet in the next three stitches. Half double crochet in the next three. single crochet in the next two, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next two, half double crochet in, oops, half double crochet in the next three, double crochet in the next three, And then we're ready to repeat that again with another spoke in the mark stitched and those stitches in between. So we'll work that a total of eight times down the side and I'll join you just before our next corner. So after the eighth spoke, you will work another set. You'll have that double crochet just after the spoke and then three double crochet, three halves, two singles chain one, skip one, two singles, three halves, three doubles, which will take you to our next chain two corner space where we will work that corner again. So remember that's a double crochet, work a spoke, that's the eight chains, skip three, slip stitch in the next five, the back bump of each chain. So that's two, three, four, and five. Place another double crochet in that same chain two space. Chain two. Work another double crochet in that space and another spoke. And one more double crochet in that chain two corner space. Then you're ready to work down the side again. <clears throat> Remember we skip the first stitch of the side and then start the repeat of those three double crochet, three halves and so on with the eight spokes. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll join you just at the end of the round. So once you've worked your way all the way around you will just join to our starting double crochet in that first corner and fasten off. 
you should have eight of these spokes on each side and two in each corner. Round 73, we're using color E. We're going to be making, starting to make trees. So on these big spokes from last round, we're going to be making some smaller spokes. We want to find a corner and looking at that first spoke and working in the chain stitches. So in this first chain of the first spoke of the corner, we in the back loop only, so I can see two loops of the chain in this back loop only, we'll make a single crochet in these first four chains. Sorry, my yarn fell off. There we go. So back loop only, single crochet in the first four chains of the spoke. That's three and four. We're going to skip the fifth chain stitch and then working in this loop or those three chain, the space that was created, we will single crochet in there and then chain six. And again, you want these a little bit loose. So that sixth chain, we're going to be working in the back bumps of the chain again. So turn the chain over and skip these first two chains and back bumps and then working in the next, we will We'll do that slip stitch to three and four back bump or third loop only slip stitches back down the chain. We'll do this three times. So we'll put another single crochet in that same chain three space chain six for our spoke, turn over, skip the first two, and then back bump or third loop, slip stitch in those four. So we have two spokes once more, single crochet in that chain three space at the top of the spoke from last round, chain six, skip the first two back bumps, slip stitch in four, one, two, three, which gives us those three spokes. Single crochet one more time in that chain three space at the top of the large spoke. And then coming back down the other side, we're gonna skip this first single crochet, back loop only, single crochet in each of the next four stitches two, three, and four. Chain one, we'll skip this double crochet, chain two, double crochet of the corner, and then work these single back loop single crochet and those three spokes again on this side. So back loop only, single crochet in these first four chains. It's four, we'll skip that fifth. Single crochet in the chain three at the top of the spoke. Chain six, come back down 
those four slip stitches and do that three times and I'll meet you there. After we have those three small spokes done, we'll place one more single crochet in that same chain three space. Skip that first stitch, back loop only, single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so working in down the side now, we're gonna skip that first double crochet that was worked into the corner space and starting in the next one we'll make back loop only single crochet in eight. One, two, seven, and eight. So that eighth one falls in the single crochet just before that chain one space. Do not chain. We will skip this chain one. Back loop only single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Seven and eight. Then we'll skip this last double crochet before the spoke. On the side of the spoke, we will back loop only single crochet in those first four stitches. One, two, three, four, and skip the fifth. And then in that chain three space again, we will place a single crochet chain six, work those slip stitches down and we'll do that a total of three times so we have three singles and three spokes and I'll join you at that spot. So I've worked those single crochet and spokes three times, one more single crochet back in that same chain three space, skip that next stitch and back loop only single crochet in the next four. So we'll skip that next stitch. Starting in the next, we'll work those eight back loop only single crochet, taking us to the chain space, skipping that space, eight more back loop only single crochet, and repeat the spokes. So we'll work that down the side a total of eight times, and I'll join you just before the next corner. So when you've worked your way down the side, you'll have these three smaller spokes on each of the eight spokes with those 16 stitches in between. After the last one, you will skip that double crochet just after the large spoke, then work those eight back loop only singles, skip the chain one, eight more back loop only singles. You'll skip that first double crochet of the corner and then ready to work as we did at the beginning, up the side of the first spoke of the corner with those three small spokes and so on. So you can repeat this all the way around. You'll join to our starting stitch at the end of the round and fasten off. Round 74, we're going to be turning the spokes, the large spoke and the small spokes are going to become trees. So the larger spoke will be referred to as the trunk and these small spokes will be referred to as the branches. So for this round, we want to be using color G and we're going to start in the last single crochet before the first corner tree. And in that back loop only single crochet, we will place a single crochet working through both of those top loops. So it's my last single crochet of the side before that first single crochet going up the trunk. So single crochet in 
that back loop only single. Chain three. We're going to skip the four singles on the trunk and in that next single, just before the small branch, we will place a single crochet. Chain four. And then at the top of the branch, under any two loops just at the top, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Chain four. Okay, so skipping um, the slip stitches on the side of that branch, in this next single crochet, we will work a double crochet. And we'll repeat that chain four, single crochet through two loops at the top of that next branch, chain four, and between the branches in that next single crochet we'll place a double crochet. Chain four, single crochet under two loops at the top of the next branch, chain four, single crochet in the single at the base of that branch, chain three, We're going to skip three back loop only single on that branch and in the next one or the last one on this trunk we will place a single crochet. So we started with a single crochet just before the trunk, chain three, single crochet in the single crochet just before the first branch, chain four, single crochet at the tip of the branch, chain four, double crochet in the single between the branches. We repeated that, chain four, single crochet at the tip of the branch, chain three, sorry, chain four, single crochet in the single crochet to set the base of the branch, chain three, single crochet in the last back loop only single of the trunk. So we'll skip this chain one space and then in the single crochet, this first back loop only single of the second corner tree, we will single crochet, chain three. Again, skip three single crochet, single crochet in the next, which is the last just before the branch, chain four, single crochet under two loops at the tip of the branch, chain four. Double crochet in the single between the branches, chain four. Repeat, single crochet at the tip of the branch, the next branch, chain four. Double crochet in the next single between the branches, chain four, single crochet in the tip of the branch, chain four, we'll single crochet in this next single at the base of that last branch chain three. We'll skip these four single crochet and then single crochet in the first back loop only single just after that tree. So we have our two corner trees worked. Then working down the side we will chain seven
skip two back loop only singles, single crochet in the next. We'll do that four times. Chain seven, skip two stitches, single crochet in the next. That's twice. Chain seven, skip two, single crochet in the next for three times. Chain seven, skip two, single crochet in the next for four times. Chain seven, skip two, single crochet in the next, which is the last stitch before the next tree. Then we're ready to start working up the next tree in the same way as we worked our corner trees. Chain three, skip four stitches, single crochet in the next, which is the last single crochet before that first branch. Chain four, Single crochet in two loops at the top of the branch. Chain four. Double crochet in the single between the two branches. Chain four. So we're repeating now single crochet at the tip of the branch, chain four, double crochet in the single between the two branches, chain four, single crochet in the tip of the last branch, chain four, single crochet in this next single crochet at the base of that branch, chain three, we'll skip the next four stitches on the trunk, single crochet in the next, which is the first back loop only single past the tree. And then we're ready to do that repeat again with those chain sevens. We want to work that a total of eight times. So you can go ahead and work that and I'll meet you there. So once you've worked those eight repeats, you'll have finished uh, to the bottom of this last side tree. We will want to work that four repeats of the chain seven, skip to single crochet in the next stitch and then one more chain seven and single crochet in that next stitch after skipping two and this single crochet here is the start of our second corner so you'll go back and repeat everything we did working around these corner trees and down the next side and work all the sides of the blanket joining two our starting single crochet at the end and fastening off Round 75 using color A. We want to start in this first tree of a side, so it's the second of the corner trees. We will find that single crochet just before the first branch. We are going to make a four double crochet popcorn. So I'm starting with a standing double crochet and we'll place three more double crochet in that same single crochet. We chain one to close, which does not count as a stitch. Chain four. single crochet in the single crochet made in the top of the branch. Chain four. We 
Working in the double crochet between the branches, we'll place four double crochet popcorn. Chain one to close, which does not count. Chain four. Single crochet in the single crochet at the top of the next branch. Chain four. Four double crochet popcorn in the next double crochet. chain four, single crochet in the single at the top of the next branch, chain four. And then we'll make the four double crochet popcorn in that single crochet just after this last branch. And remember, the chain one that closes that popcorn does not count as a stitch. Now we'll chain five. We're going to skip the chain three on the trunk of the tree and skip this first chain seven space after the tree. And in the pop, in the single crochet, we'll make a four double crochet popcorn. Chain two. So now we're going to be working behind these next three chain spaces into the round 73. So behind this first chain seven space, we're going to skip this first single crochet and in the second skipped single crochet, we'll place a four double crochet popcorn. Chain two. Then we're going to make a spread of four double crochet popcorn. So under this next chain seven in those two skipped loops, working behind the chain seven, we'll put two of the double crochet in that first skipped single. And two double crochet in the second skipped single. And then we'll finish the popcorn as previously. Chain one, which does not count. Then we'll chain two. Then under this next chain seven, working in that first single crochet, we'll place another four double crochet popcorn. Chain two. We'll skip that single crochet of round 73. And in this next single crochet, we'll place a four double crochet popcorn. Chain five. 
we'll skip that chain seven, the single crochet and the chain three by the trunk. And then we're ready to work around the tree again, the same way we did on the corner tree. So starting with this first popcorn on the tree, and then these popcorns on the side, just pulling those chains up so you can see what that looks like. We'll do that a total of nine times. And I'll meet you at that spot. So once you've worked those nine repeats down the side, we will have that chain five and we will work around the first tree of the corner. And then after we've done the single crochet in each of the spoke and that last popcorn in the single crochet just before the trunk, we will then chain one and we'll skip the chain three, those two singles and the chain three. And then we're ready to start all over again in that next single crochet at the top of the trunk in that second corner tree. And we'll work our popcorns and our chains and so on down the next side. So you can go ahead working that all the way around. And when you get to the end of the round, after the chain one, you will just join to our starting popcorn and fasten off. So once you've worked your way around, if you wish, you can, um, so there's five of these popcorns in between the trees. In the middle three popcorns, you can sort of pull them to the front under those chains. And you'll have that look then. Round 76, this is the final round for part nine. We're using color G. We will start in the first tree of any side, so that's the second tree of the corner. And we'll start at that first popcorn. So with color G, we'll make a front post single crochet around the first popcorn of the first tree. We will place four single crochet in the chain space. Skip the single, four single in the next chain space. Front post single around the popcorn. We'll repeat with those four single crochet in these next two chain four spaces, skipping the single crochet. Front post single around the popcorn. One more time for single crochet in each of these next two chain four spaces, skipping the single crochet in between. and front post single around that next popcorn. So continuing on this side, then we're going to skip on round 74. We're skipping the chain three of the trunk. In this first chain seven space, we're going to place a single crochet and we're working in front of last round. So single crochet in the chain seven space and we'll chain two. Single crochet in that next chain seven space, chain two, repeat, once more, and in this last chain seven space we'll place a single crochet And then we'll skip that chain three on the trunk, ready to work back on round 75 around the next tree. So we'll work those front post single crochet, four single crochet 
So front post single goes around the popcorn for single crochet in each of the chain four spaces. And we'll continue to work that all the way around. So just remembering on either side of the tree, we miss the chain three on the trunk, but we single crochet in those chain sevens that we skipped as well as the other chain sevens. So you can go ahead and work that down the row. I'll join you just before the corner. So when you've worked down the side, again, if you want to, you can poke those popcorns to the front between those chains. I've done mine mostly as I've been working those stitches. We'll have worked the nine full repeats and then we have the next um, tree that's in the corner. So we'll work that the same way, the front post single, two sets of four singles repeated around the tree. And then after this final popcorn, we will chain one, skip the corner space, and start again on the next tree with the front post single. Oops, there we go. And the single crochet, four single crochet in each of those chain four spaces and so on. So you'll work that all the way around, joining to your starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round to complete part nine.